This clever technique can be used to create TV style effects in creating a slideshow. In addition to a page turn, the same idea could be used to perform other reveal effects. We'll begin by selecting a color from the palette and filling the screen. Next, we'll choose a darker color from the palette and one of the larger brushes, then the curve tool. We'll drag a curve out to represent the bottom edge of the page curled up. We'll then drag the right hand edge of the page curled. Now using the straight line tool, we'll draw the edge of the curl. We now have a simple line drawing looking like a page turn. We'll fill the back of the front page with gray. Next, we'll choose pink and fill the area that represents our second page. We'll now swap to Depaint Spare Page and choosing the same color we initially used, clear the screen. From the Anim menu, set number of frames to 20. Pick up the entire screen as a brush. This will give you simply a solid blue area. Choose color and pink. Bring up the line spacing requester and choose end total making sure that its value is set to 20. Choose brush handle corner so you're holding the brush by its corner. Use Alt-X to select which corner you're holding it by. From the lower right hand corner of the screen to the upper right corner, drag a line while holding the Alt key. Depaint will then stamp the pink rectangle, gradually increasing in size from the lower right to the upper left edge of the screen. Using Shift 2, we jump to the last frame in the animation and bring up the Add Frames requester. We'll add an additional 20 frames. When we play the animation back, it looks like a pink square expanding. We'll now jump back to our picture of the curled page and pick it up as a brush. We'll use the J key to return to our animation and bring up the fill type requester. From here we'll choose brush. Turn off the menu in toolbox and point to the lower right hand corner. If we begin filling from the lower corner by holding the alt key, we see deluxe paint resizes our brush each time to fill the pink square. It will take some time for deluxe paint to do the entire animation. Now that completes the first half of our animation. Now to complete the animation. We'll choose line and drag a line with our custom brush from the lower right corner to the upper left hand corner while holding the Alt key. Depaint will drag our brush out of view. If we now play back this animation, we can see it looks like a blue page revealing a pink page. We'll now want to apply a picture to each of those colors. We'll first load a background from the art disk called Aquarium Background. Since you used a different color palette, we'll need to remap it. First, we'll restore our original palette and then choose Remap. We'll use the J key to return to our animation. From here, choose the background color to be light blue. 
From spare, choose Merge in Back and All Frames. Deluxe Paint will then merge the aquarium background onto all areas that were light blue within the animation. This too could take several moments. Now to apply a picture to the pink area. We'll return to our spare page again and this time load a different background such as Venus. She too will need to be remapped. Once again choose palette, restore palette and then remap. We'll jump back to the animation and use the same technique as before. Using the 2 key we advance a couple of frames to reveal the pink and then select that pink as our background color. Choose merge in back and select all frames. Venus is now mapped onto the second page. When we play this animation back in ping pong fashion, it appears as if the aquarium background is being peeled off and replaced back over Venus. Try using this merge in back technique with your own pictures and wipe effects. Techniques demonstrated in this example are rather advanced. We will be showing how to wrap an anim brush onto a sphere, add highlights, and move an object on a path. We will be using low resolution 32 color. First, load the image that came with Deluxe Paint called World Map. Since we want simply a two color map, we'll choose Stencil Make. We'll begin by eliminating the black drop shadows. We'll select the ocean color and filled rectangle and fill the image area. Blue replaces the areas that were black. Next we want to make the landmass green. We protect the ocean and choose green from the color palette. Once again drag a rectangle out over the screen. We now have a simple two color map. We'll free the stencil since we won't need that any longer and pick up our entire map as a brush. We'll clear the screen and choose Anim Set Frames. We'll set our frame count to be 37. We'll hold the brush by its corner and choose Line. We'll bring up the settings and set end total also to 37. We'll place our cursor in the lower left corner and while holding the Alt key drag a line across the bottom of the screen. When we let go Deluxe Paint stamps our brush in 37 equally spaced steps across the page. Once again, choose Handle Corner to swap the corner that's being held. Drag out a line again from the lower left to the lower right and let go. We now have a seamless animated world on a flat surface.